Hi, I'm Robin Stevenson. I'm an author who lives on Vancouver Island and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my books um, and maybe pass on some writing tips as well in case some of you are, are keen writers out there. So my most recent book is this one here. It just came out in March, Pride, the Celebration and the Struggle. And it's actually a second edition, an expanded edition of a book that came out back in 2016 called Pride Celebrating Diversity and Community. But this new one's quite a lot longer. It's got a lot of really great new stories in it. Um, and it's updated because one of the things with writing nonfiction is that after four years, um, lots has changed in the world. And some of the things in the original book um, are no longer accurate and up to date. So I was really excited to have the opportunity to um, write a new second edition and to expand it to include more stories that are really important to me about the history of Pride, about um, Pride around the world and what it looks like in different countries, particularly in countries where people who are LGBTQ plus are really fighting for their rights and fighting for um, basic freedom to be themselves and live safely um, as who they are. Um, and also to include some stories of young activists. So this one has a whole new chapter on activism um, and has lots of stories about the work that young activists are doing to continue the fight for LGBTQ plus equality. Um, so that's one I'm really excited about. But I write uh, all kinds of books. I write fiction and nonfiction. I write books for really small kids. You can see up there, Pride Colors is for toddlers. Um, books for younger children um, and lots of books for teenagers. Um, some of these here are some of my uh, novels that I've written. My most recent novel is in fact this one here, When You Get the Chance. This is an advanced review copy, so this book isn't out yet. It was actually scheduled to come out this month, May 2020, um, in time for Pride. Uh, it's a story about two teenagers who are cousins who find themselves on a unplanned road trip to Toronto Pride um, after they're reunited at their grandfather's funeral. They haven't seen each other in a number of years um, and have been brought back together in Ontario at their grandfather's funeral. And so it's a, a road trip story, um, family story. Uh, it's a book I was really excited to release. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, it's been postponed. So it's now not going to be coming out until May 2021. So you guys are going to have to wait a little while for this one, unfortunately. Um, but I am excited about um, being able to share it with you down the road. Um, one of the things that, uh, well, actually one other book I'll mention, this also is a 2019 book, My Body, My Choice. This is one of my other nonfiction books, and it's about the fight for abortion rights. And it's a book that's really important to me because I feel like abortion rights is a topic that we don't talk a whole lot about, um, that a lot of people in Canada don't know the history of the fight for abortion rights in Canada, um, and that for many of us it's a right that we take very much for granted, but there's been a really long, hard-fought battle to get where we are, um, and I think it's an important one for people to be aware of. Um, and it's a book that's got, it's got a lot of personal stories, it's got some really... Um, great photographs and illustrations, um, stories of activists from around the world, Madagascar, from Turkey, from South America, um, some wonderful comics that the artists gave me permission to include and share as well. Um, so this is a book I'm also really excited about. So I wanted to um, just mention um, a few pieces of advice, I guess, for those of you that are writers. Um, I wrote a lot when I was a kid, and then I really stopped writing as a teen, but when I visit schools I meet lots of teens who are really keen writers, um, and I'm always happy to hear from writers and to try to answer questions, so do feel free to reach out and get in touch if that's you. Um, a couple of the suggestions that I would have would be just to really pay attention to the world around you, to notice things that might make good stories, to pay attention to how people think, to how people talk to the kinds of difficulties people have in their lives and how they think about those problems, how they overcome those problems. Um, and just to know that everything that you experience is potential material for your writing and your stories. I would also say don't worry too much about other people's expectations. Uh, write what you want to write. When you're writing a first draft, don't think too much about who's going to be reading it, um, but really write to uh, entertain yourself, write the kind of thing you want to read, make sure you're enjoying the process, the journey of writing, and 
it's okay to write a really rough first draft um, and try to go back and fix it on a second draft. I think a lot of writers uh, first drafts are very rough and really at that point you're just creating the raw material for your story and you can go back and shape it and take out the bits that don't work and add the bits that are missing um, and turn that messy first draft into a really strong solid second draft so um, don't be too much of a perfectionist let yourself get that story down on the paper and just really enjoy the process enjoy creating characters seeing them come to life um, seeing a world take shape and um, let it be a fun, immersive process, not one that you're um, worrying too much about or, or, or letting be, uh, be stressful. It, it should be something that you enjoy. So that would be my advice. And again, I'm, I'm always happy to hear from writers. My website is robinstevenson.com. And feel free to reach out, get in touch, um, and uh, enjoy writing. Take care. Bye-bye.